The Ashango bone was first thought to be a simple tally, but it may represent humans' first steps towards symbolic mathematics. This bone, dating back about 20,000 years, was named after the place where it was found in what is today the Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC. The DRC is a country in Central Africa centered in the Congo Basin. This region was first inhabited by Central African foragers about 90,000 years ago. Ishango is a fisherman's settlement in the country. This settlement site dates back about 25,000 years. The settlement sits on the shores of Lake Edward near the border with Uganda. Lake Edward is a small lake and is a source of the Nile. Some archaeological discoveries made at this site are consistent with later Stone Age occupation and the human bones that have been found there, while dating back to only 20,000 BC, show robust archaic features. Some archaeologists believe that the early Ashango man was a pre-Sapien species due to these findings. The Ashango bones are two notched bones found by a Belgium geologist in the 1950s when the country was still a Belgium colony. These two bones are dark brown with markings on all faces and a sharp piece of quartz attached at one end. One of the two bones has been studied extensively. It is the fibula of a baboon with incisions organized in three columns around the bone. The purpose of the bone is unclear, but scientists have determined the notches are not random and may have mathematical, astrological, or other meaning. Looking closely at the notch pattern, we notice that the first column has 60 notches arranged in groups representing 11, 13, 17, and 19, the four prime numbers between 10 and 20. The second column has 48 notches arranged in eight groups with some representing doubling or halving. The third column has 60 notches arranged in groups of 11, 21, 19, and nine, which are each one away from 10 or 20. The grouping suggests a combination of base 10 and base 12 was used for calculation. The bone might have been used as a calculation device, a Stone Age calculator, or for following a lunar calendar. Some suggest it might have been used by a woman to calculate her menstrual cycle. At any rate, the bone suggests that a Stone Age African could be the first to have taken steps towards symbolic mathematics. That's all I have for now. Until next time, do some math and have some fun.